Hello and welcome to Wrestling and welcome to the post mortem. What is it? Pay per view post mortem. That's what I we call this know, thing. I the name of it. For Royal Rumble. General overview. What did you think? I thought it was a bit meh. I thought it was a reverse of last year where the two rumbles were really good last year. The matches outside of it weren't that good. And I felt that the matches this time were better than the rumbles. Yeah, the matches were. I didn't think much of the rumbles, if I'm honest. Mm. I'm eating my tea whilst we do this, by the way. Yeah. So, you're going to have to get used to that. Yeah, I, no, uh, it was a bit meh. I still retained the title. He won. Well, we drew. We drew, yeah. But, but champion's uh, yeah. advantage so means... It stays, stays with me, the table. I'll just put it there on the table. We were, I'm never going to win it. I've held it for nearly a year now. No, nearly a year. When did, I don't know. September. That's pretty much a year. <laughs> right, we're gonna blast through what happened at the pay per view. Yep. Start it. Well, we'll quickly go over the pre show. Let's just glaze over this, yeah. right? What on earth was that tag match? I don't know. They booked the most raw yeah. thing on a pay per view. Yeah, it was uh, Rudin Gable versus Scott Dawson of the Revival and Rezar of AOP. Oh, Random. Just the microphone, sorry. Um, Gable and Rude won. No one cares. Move on. Weird. Um, we got. Chinsuke uh, Chinsuke beat Rusev for the title for some reason where Lana took a bump and yeah. uh, Rusev was obviously concerned and got like Kinshasa to the Kinshasa, back of the head yeah and then Nakamura won pre-show so we don't really care move on from that then we've got the cruiserweight the four way um, which Buddy Murphy retained which... and one of the cruiserweights has left now that <coughs> Hideo Itami, Itami yeah he's left, he's left the um, he's back to his Kenta name Kenta yeah uh, that cruiserweight match started really sort of now I expected, but it yeah. built just something yeah, it decent. Yeah, we weren't bad. Well, that was the pre-show done mm-hmm. and dusted. And starting off the show was Asuka versus Becky Lynch, mm-hmm. and it was a decent match. Was a decent match. Um, I enjoyed it, but neither of us liked the finish. No, I don't think Becky Lynch should have tapped out. No, I thought she should have been pinned or she should have passed out. She should have just passed out in the lock. Yeah, for me. I don't. Th- yeah, I think it makes her look a bit, a bit weak. By by the end of the night, it was fine, and no one will probably remember that. The good thing about it is Asuka's now back to like being up there. Yeah, she's. They've just kind of got rid of that stupid part where she was rubbish for a bit. Yeah. Um. She beat Becky Lynch by you know by. Yeah, it makes her up, look strong, which is good. So. But yeah, I think that they should have done the Bret Hart Austin thing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that would have been a better call. Definitely. Next, we have got the Miz and Shane McMahon against the Bar. So, we both knew that Shane and Miz were yeah, winning. Yeah, easily. It was we, obvious. We said that. But we didn't expect it to go down how it did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. That uh, shooting star shooting press. Shooting star press from Shane McMahon. Oh, my God. It, it was, was good as well, it actually. Was it good. was decent. 49, is he? Mm, yeah. And Miz was wearing his little Shane O'Mac t-shirt oh, yeah, 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 as well. Um, so, a fun match. It was good, yeah. It was a fun match. It was, it was decent. Uh, I mean, as sort of silly as it is seeing Shane, Shane winning did, the tag titles. Yeah. It was a fun match, and the way it ended was just such a surprise. I couldn't believe. We were both just sat there, and then when he did that, we were like, what? Yeah, it was mad. Shooting Star Press. Um, it, so was, it was decent, to be fair. Fun little though. match, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what we thought it was going to be anyway. Um, next was Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. Uh-huh. Um, and... I do not remember much of this match. I thought it was a good match. I don't think it was very like memorable or or anything. Sasha sort of was really equal to Ronda. Yeah, and she pushed it right to the limits. Um, I thought I thought it was a decent little match, but of course, you know Ronda comes out on top. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Ronda since she's announced that she's well since. It's not been announced, but since it's yeah. rumoured that she's leaving, um, After she's WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean we'll get into um, what's what's happening with Mania, but yeah, a little bit worried about her um, and how she's going to cope with it all. But we'll get into that. But yeah, I I thought this was a decent match. It's probably one of Ronda's um, in ring wise better matches since yeah. she's been on on the main roster. Yeah, yeah, uh, on the main roster since she's been on the show. So. Uh, yeah, not bad. No. And then we got 
after that match, we got the first Royal Rumble of the evening. Yeah, which was the women's Royal the ladies. Rumble. And yeah. it opened up with Lacey Evans, who I thought put in a good a good showing for herself. Well, in she this was Rumble. a little bit she was a little bit nervous to start with because <coughs> she, uh, uh, she was with Natty and they botched a couple yeah. of moves. Natty was the uh, Iron Woman of this mm. Rumble, lasting just under, yeah, just under an hour. Fifty six minutes. So we saw a couple of uh, of new. Nick, Nikki Cross was on there, weren't she? Um, but this, this is the way they should have a lot, just a lot of NXT talent, weren't there? Mm. A lot of NXT. There was quickly read a couple off. We had Candice LeRae, um, Zaya Lee, who we didn't know. Yeah, Rhea Ripley from NXT UK, Ayo Sharari. We Eo. never, we can never Eo. say that. Eo. one. we figured it out, didn't we? Yeah. It's Eo. And also quite impressed with someone I've never seen before. That Casey. Casey. Catazaro, is that we don't know how to say it. yeah, she looked good. She looked really good. Um, what I thought though, this rumble, it had a bit too many Kofi Kingston. Spot. Yeah, not, like, not, she, you know what I mean, like them spots where people something fall, we said on the night was they did a bit too many of them. Because Kofi's running out of ideas anyway, and now if yeah, because Naomi did one. Yeah, and then yeah, Casey she did one as well. Yeah, which Casey's was really impressive because it was like a like a hand style yeah, thing. Yeah. But it's like Kofi's running out of ideas, and now they're giving Trying it to like other people. It's like, else, yeah, uh, it's gonna wear thin. Mm. But we had some spots in this match where um, was it Billy Kay came down and wouldn't enter the Royal that Rumble. That was brilliant. That until Peyton comes down. I'm not entering until Peyton gets here. We got Swoggle. Oh, sw- so. Uh, Zelina Vega decided to go out also, under the ropes. She came down looking like Predator. Apparently, it's it is another character from a fighting game called Vega, so uh, makes sense. Yeah. Um, she came down, went under the ropes straight away, pretty much. Went and hid un- under the ring, which yeah. again was weird because it was repeated in the men's rumble. Yeah. But at the start, we were like, oh yeah, and it was quite funny. She kept popping her head out. It was quite yeah. funny. And then all of a sudden, like the last time she did it, Swoggle was next to her and yeah. he chased after her and it was all a bit weird. Yeah, I don't know why. It's... Swoggle's never... <laughs> Swoggle brings things down, it, doesn't Yeah, it? it was strange. But um, yeah. So, sorry, I am just continuing to eat. It's very rude. I'm okay. <sighs> anyway, we got... Eventually, we got up to entrance number 28. Which should have been Lana is the best Lana number one. Yeah, but of course she took that bump earlier on and she yeah. could not walk. And she was injured. Limping her way down to the yeah. ring. So Becky Lynch just sort of strolled out. And I started celebrating because my predictions yeah. were coming true. I said to Finlay, I want in. And apparently Finlay can just say, do you know what? You're in the Royal Rumble. I think he is in charge of the ladies though, isn't he? Oh, I don't think he can just put them in, man- like in the Rumble, can I? Yeah, but, but anyway, Becky, this was another thing that I... I wasn't too keen on people. Like, fair enough for the women's, but then it happened in the men's as well, where someone got injured and someone got replaced. Yeah, this, and... it was too many repeated things wasn't yeah, it was for it. That's, I think that's why it brought it down yeah. for us. But um, Becky Lynch comes out at number 28, Nia Jax. 29, I think it would have been. No, Nia Jax was 29. Oh, right, sorry, yeah. Carmella was 30. Yes, of course, yeah. Um, so both of our picks were in there at this point. Stuff. Becky and Charlotte. Yes. Um, eventually, Carmella goes out, and then Nia Jax is eliminated as By well. By Becky Lynch. Yeah. Leaving, and Becky Lynch eliminates her from the outside, doesn't she? Pulls her off. Leaving just Charlotte. Yeah, she she attacked her. She, yeah. was, she was on a bad wheel then, wasn't she? Yeah. Leaving just Charlotte and Becky in the ring, and sort of had a bit of a back and forth, teased. Yeah. <coughs> Bless, Bless you. I know, I'm going sneeze. Yeah, they were sort of teasing and we were like, oh, which way is it going yeah, to go? Because we I had really Charlotte, nervous. you had Becky. Mm-hmm. And in the end, Becky wins, which is, I think it's the right decision. It is the right decision. So, it it's means... the right booking. So, it was a nice ending. Yeah, I still think Charlotte... wasn't the best rumble no. for me. I've seen a lot of people Not saying... Not as good as last year's. I've seen a lot of people saying they prefer it to last year's also, because there was more current talent on it. Yeah, also, no real return. Like, no. Like, I've got NXTs, but no... Uh, no, no, Later. No, no. which you can look at it one way like I said people are saying that they like this year's better because of that yeah fair enough yeah same um, with the men's though we've got no notable no not really there's returns. only, uh, there's only Jeff wasn't there yeah. yeah so yeah Charlotte Flair got four eliminations coming out on top in that uh, respect yeah but, uh, I do believe that 
Charlotte will still end up in this triple threat. Me too. Yeah, I think it's going to be triple threat. Yeah, definitely. But okay. anyway, moving Next on. Next up. After this, was, was a match which I was not keen on at all. And it was Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. But I think it was in the it was in that bad yeah, spot. The crowd was sort of they were dead, dead from celebrating Becky winning. Everyone was buzzing over that. I don't know. For me, it never got going. Never. There's probably a few going for a toilet break and everything. It never got going for me, and I was not a fan of it. If I'm honest, it wasn't memorable. I don't think it was too bad, but the ending ru- like ruined it for me. Yeah, with Eric Rowan came out. Yeah, all of a sudden Rowan was there. We we're like, what? Yeah. What's going on? And it made no sense. He's dressed in his uh, plaid shirt. And... Yeah, and we were like, what's going on? And it never got explained on the night. No, but then of course, yeah. they want you to watch Smackdown. Yeah. So. And we were just like, what is Eric Rona? And we were thinking, no, maybe like Daniel Bryan's going to start this whole like vegan cult thing. Earth Warriors. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Daniel it... Bryan won off a, it was a ref bump. Yeah. Rowan got involved and then... Daniel Bryan won. It was weird. Mm. Eric Rowan. Strange. Out of all the ways we thought it would end, we did not think Eric Rowan would come That went come out. 24 minutes that match, by the way. It didn't feel... Oh, I didn't enjoy it. Next was... And at this point, the pay-per-view was going long. Yeah, we were getting worried. It was nearly 5... A, well, it was looking like a 5 a.m. finish. I had work the next day. I did not have work the next day, so I weren't too bothered, but I was tired. And we've got Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Which we didn't want a squash match because no. we, you know, we quite like Finn. And we, but we kind of wanted a squash and match because we, we were like, we want to go quickly, to bed. Yeah, but, um, Actually a good match. Yeah, it was good. Finn put up his own. Nice bit of storytelling. Uh, he attacked, Finn attacked Brock's abdomen. Yeah. Which um, you know, t- took away Brock's ability to do things. And of course it plays on the whole... Is it Dive Vicky to Lighters? I can't yeah, say Yeah, whatever, whatever uh, illness what, what, he had. What he yeah. had, yeah. Uh, he was like sl- putting him into announce table and stuff like that. So clever, clever tactic. Yeah, and then... And actually, when you think, the last two Brock matches have been alright, because mm-hmm. the Daniel Bryan one was alright as well. Yeah. So, but it only went eight minutes. Uh, but to me, it didn't it, feel too short. No, I think that's a good thing though with Brock, mm. like just keep him sweet and short. Mm. But um, he, he managed to he escape. He gets out on top and literally you went... Does he use that Kimura lock Yeah, anymore? it was weird, wasn't it? And then the next thing... Um, Locked it in. Finn went for... Did he go for a... He hit the coup de grace, and then yeah. I think he went for the pin, but Brock, like... Flip, like, yeah, reversed it into, into a... Into a lock, yeah. I think. I think. Can't quite remember. Yeah, uh, and then he yeah, did that. He and then he hit him with a couple of F5s after the match. Mm. Mm. Did he? Yeah. I can't remember that. So... Yeah, it's, it was all right, that match, actually. It weren't too bad, I... I liked it. For what we thought, it was going to absolutely get demolished in about <clears throat> 10 minutes. thing is, I keep seeing people saying that, oh, don't, we don't want another Braun Brock match and everything, because they haven't had good matches. But yeah. just, it's easy to book. Mm. If you're going to have Braun win, win, I know that's not happening now, but no, this is what I wanted to happen. Seth's winning. You could have just had them just each do, pretty much like the Goldberg match. Yeah. But yeah. anyway... And on to the main event, which was the Men's the Royal men's Rumble. Royal Rumble, yeah. And at this point, Elias came out and started singing a song, and we were right. Like, Elias, and the same thing happened on Raw. Have they turned him heel again I don't just know. because of this, or is he heel again just because he's heel again? That's it. I, I, we, it was weird. I don't know. He's been faced for a couple of months now. Anyway, yeah. Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett was the... Um, number two. Number two, and he was swiftly eliminated by Elias. Because, of course, you know, Elias gets told that he's just... You know, Jeff Jarrett wannabe. But... <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like A lot more people were more buzzing about this. He's not really someone that I, I particularly paid attention to when I was younger. No, me neither. Um, we, I just remember the slap nuts thing. Yeah, we which got didn't do here. Kurt Angle making a. He went quick as well. A return only lasted three minutes yeah. before Nakamura got rid of him, and the first big sort of yeah call up was Johnny Gargano from NXT. Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling was there, and he lasted a fair decent amount of time. To be fair, he didn't got an he? elimination. Yeah, he looked good. Looked really good. Got rid of Mahal, didn't they? Yeah. Um. I remember Kurt Hawkins sort of kept running into the ring and then sliding out of the ring. You did the Zelina thing. Yeah, he, he went under the ring. Um, obviously then, 
the eventual winner, Seth Rollins, came in. It was also the Iron Man for the match. Mm. 43 minutes. Um, but then Titus came in, didn't they? Well, mm. by came in, Titus sort of ran to the ring and then stopped and was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They played off the greatest Royal Rumble thing. Yeah. Which was good. And we expected he it. saw Kurt Hawkins under the ring. So he sort of crawled under the ring, chased him around. Hawkins got into the ring. And as Titus got into the ring, Hawkins got him out. Yeah. Five seconds he lasted. But that, that was good though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. But that, We were hoping that Kurt might actually um, have a little bit of a run. But yeah, he didn't last all. No, that he long. didn't. He didn't last that he's, long. He's definitely winning the um, Andre the Giant uh, Battle Royal. Funny, definitely. Um, Calling it now. And five seconds was not even the shortest amount of time someone lasted in the ring. Um, Santino, one second, won it. Yeah, but in this match we got an even shorter one when um, Andre number fifteen. No way. Oh my G- God! Yeah, Jose came out. He. Uh, it was bad. This bit. He came down and he literally got thrown oh, straight out two seconds just before him as well. Then he um, just started doing the conga thing. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Just before him as well, Dean Ambrose came in and being one of the top stars, we were thinking, oh, he'll last a while. He only lasted 12 minutes. And he's leaving. the press. Yeah, leaving, isn't he? He's leaving after Mania. Well, there were rumours about it and then WWE put it on their official mm. Twitter that he's... Uh, so Dean Ambrose is yeah. going. Going to AEW. Probably. AEW. Probably. Do we think? Yeah. Must probably. be. Apparently he's not happy with the what we said about his character. He's not like the they don't know what to do with it, do they? No. They don't know how to do it. They could have had. A in, really he good... was really good in NXT and when he first came up because he was like sort of. Um... Oh my god, Xavier Woods went in three seconds. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I just saw that. Yeah. So yeah, it was good. He had like a sort of like ruthlessness, but that ruthlessness got replaced by just wackiness, yeah, which he didn't like. So they've not been able to deal with his character very well. No. Anyway, no way Jose got eliminated in two seconds. His conga line were coming back, and you said, "Oh, Braun or someone like that's coming out now." Yeah, and you someone correct- serious. Yeah. said, "Yeah," because there was everybody lined up as the buzzer was going down, and you mm-hmm. said someone's coming out, and it was Drew McIntyre, and he just wiped everybody out on his way to the ring. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it was so obvious. I was like, "Yeah, well, it's gonna be someone serious who's uh, not gonna yeah. enjoy this." And then line. after the Drew McIntyre bit, we got Xavier Woods who has. As he was coming to the oh, ring, um, Kofi was oh, yeah. getting thrown out, and Xavier caught him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did like this <laughs> weird like piggyback thing to the ring. It weren't it, that good. It was weird, wasn't it? Um, but literally, as they both got in, they both got eliminated mm. as well by Drew McIntyre. So, yeah. Pete Dunn and Alistair Black were your, um, I suppose. I think did Drew get the most eliminations? Let's have a look. Don't no, Braun did. By one. Whoa. Drew got four, Braun got five. Should have won it. Yeah. Pete Dunn, NXT UK. He was in it. Um, Alistair Black. Alistair Black from NXT. And then some weird... Shelton Benjamin. Yeah. Now, the only thing I can think with Shelton was... He was John Cena's replacement. I know they said it was Braun, but... Yeah. And like, then, Shelton Benjamin's not done anything for ages. Yeah. Obviously, we got a couple more. Braun, number 27. Returning Dolph Ziggler at yeah. 28. How uninspiring. <coughs> yeah. Who eliminated... Who did exactly the same thing as last year, I believe, saying, oh, yeah. I'm not going to be in the Rumble. And then he was in and the Rumble. And then he was in the Rumble. Uh, Late he, on as well. Yeah, he eliminated um, McIntyre. We're going to well. get some downvotes coming up here, I think, by the way. Yeah. And then we knew that number 29 was Randy Orton. We sort of worked out he hadn't been in it yet. Mm-hmm. And number 30 was... We were supposed to be. Our truth. Our truth. But what did he what did he say on SmackDown? I can't remember now. Uh, he would have won it. He said I would have won it. He was spitting bars and then he was seeing stars. Yeah, or no, no, no. <laughs> he was, was rapping it? and then he was napping. Yeah, that <laughs> was it. <laughs> so Nia Jax decided I'm going in the men's rumble. But so is this a new thing where the Attitude Era lives? Is this a new thing where if you're coming out for the Royal Rumble, someone can just attack you and take your place they have done now. It. They have done it previously a couple of times. But I did not times. like this Nia Jax We've really got off her. All. I hated it. It was bad. And But people loved it. Nia Jax even eliminated Mustafa Ali. Yeah. 
and I don't know. People loved it though. The crowd were hot, like, really hot for I it. I don't get why people go, oh, yes, a, a woman eliminating it, it, a man. It's oh, not. The funny. thing is, like, yeah, it, some people want into gender wrestling, and, and that's fine if that's what you're into. And obviously, you know, it's not, mm. it's not real, so, like, it's fine. But now that we have the women's Royal Rumble and the women's yeah. everything, like, they've got their own yeah. show and everything, the main event in. I don't know if this is needed. No. But on the night, and I mean, we're saying this, we didn't like it. Lots yeah. of people have really enjoyed it. So I don't, A lot of people like the whole, ah, oh, she's a woman and she's throwing men out. She took some punishment, though. Good. She I, got... I can't, honestly, I think she's by the worst female wrestler on there. Yeah, you've gone off her, haven't you? I mean, I, I have d- gone off her as well. Like her. But yeah, she's, she took an RKO. Yeah, she got, took a 619. She's got no character. She's got no... In in ring, the matches are boring. Yeah, I, it's not. A, yeah, the personality is boring. The promos are boring. To me, I'd, I would have rather seen our truth in the rumble. Yeah, me too. Well, I quite I, like. You know, he's, 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 he's just, on a good little run at the minute. He's not the best in ring, but at least he's funny on the. Yeah, ring, exactly. So. so, but yeah, that was it, and uh, it got down to the last two, which was Seth Rollins and Braun, Braun. again. Braun, our two picks. Yeah, Braun was dominating <laughs> him. As we did well. well, didn't we? Yeah, Braun was dominating until. Seth got him, they were both on the outside ledge, kicked him down to one leg, curb stomp. It was a good finish. Seth Rollins wins. It was a cool finish, that. I predicted, and he lasted 43 minutes, loads more than anybody else. So. Mustafa was the nearest one to him, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting um, road to WrestleMania, I think, now. Yeah. We'll get to that in our Raw replay and our SmackDown synopsis. Yeah, so what is your Royal Rumble rating? Oh, you've changed it up. I don't know. Uh, Pay per view points, we normally say that way. Royal Rumble rating. I'm going to say, I can't remember what I would have said for last year, but I think this was a. uh, I think because the two Rumbles for me weren't particularly great, I'll say six. Yeah. I don't know if that's a little harsh. I'm going to give it a six because I know the the other matches were good. But you watch the Royal Rumble for the, for Rumbles, the Royal Rumble yeah. matches, and that's what I was most looking Whereas forward last to. Last year, and I feel like they're a bit underwhelming this year. The matches outside of the Rumble weren't that good, but the two Rumbles were amazing. Yeah. So we came away from that one thinking, like, oh, what a pay per view. And I was expecting The Rock. Yeah, we were sad. Wanted The Rock. I don't know why we thought that. He was in town, apparently. <laughs> he was in town. <laughs> right. We will see you in our uh, next lot of videos make sure to su- oh, I can't speak subscribe and hit that like button <laughs>